I don't know, a person living in Germany for a while may recognize that Germany isn't for him or her. When a foreigner feels frustrated integrating into German society, he or she may leave the country. Here are some reasons. The German language. The German language is still one of the biggest barrier for foreigners to adapt here in Germany. Despite doing the German language classes and also passing the difficult exam, many foreigners still struggle in the practice. Even after a person becomes extremely fluent in German language, still there might be some restrictions in his or her career growth. It is also been said that life is too short to learn German. After a while, it can get frustrating and if someone gets a better opportunity in other country, so they decide to leave the country. Lack of digitalization. For an instance, a simple example, just opening a bank account in Germany. Whereas when you compared with India, you can open the bank account and also get the working ATM on the same day. Here in Germany, the things are a little bit different. It may take a couple of days. In India, when you withdraw money from ATM, you get a notification on your mobile. Whereas in Germany, it's not the reality. It is still, I don't know why, but it is still not the reality. Many times, my credit card was declined. Not because of my credit score, because of their policies. Very recently, IKEA has also started accepting the credit cards. Previously, they also used to accept only the debit cards. In smaller shops, I had to pay only cash, just like bakeries and some small independent stores. If you are coming from a country like India, where you can pay almost everything by your phone over QR code, then you wonder, Germany is a developed country, but still why in the mode of payment they are so much backward? Nevertheless, due to the pandemic, Germany is getting digitalized like never before. But still at many stores, you have to do the shopping of minimum 10 to 15 euros to be able to use your debit card. Indian street food. Germany can be a nightmare for Indian food lovers. Thanks to my wife who can cook, I am lucky enough to fulfill my taste buds. There are at least five to six Indian restaurants in a mid-sized city like Nuremberg. But still, you miss the authentic taste of Indian food. Sometimes you need to drive for a while to enjoy authentic Indian food. By the way, many German people do love Indian food. Shops are closed on Sunday and public holidays. When I landed in Germany on Sunday, all the shops were closed. The situation was kind of a curfew in the city. If you are coming from India, you will ask yourself why all the shops are closed on Sunday and public holidays. In India, shops are open on Sundays and also on the public holidays. During the weekdays, the shops get closed earlier, like 8 p.m. Nevertheless, the grocery stores in the states like Niedersachsen, Hessen or NRW gets closed at 10 p.m. But in the state like Bavaria, everything gets closed on 8 p.m. So you have to be very well prepared for your weekends and the bank holidays. Too many rules for daily life. Germany is quite famous for rules. Here you will find there are rules for almost everything. No repair work on Sundays or public holidays. No music at late night after 10 pm. No parties on weekends without the permission of your neighbors. No drilling on weekends. No car washing in the parking or on the street. That I found very funny. I mean, it feels too much rules. Sometimes it fills jail without bars. Next one is no household help when needed. If you are not used to do household things on your own, you might struggle here a lot. Either you do it on your own or you may end up paying a heavy amounts for the help in your households. Here you don't get kamwali bai for dishwashing, laundry and etc. You have to do it on your own and if you are not getting used to then it can be a frustrating. New parents would appreciate household help in their early days of parenting. It can remind someone on daily basis it would have been better in India. If you still want a maid here in Germany, yes it is possible, it will be way too expensive. Next one is uncertainty of weather. 
In comparison with India, Germany's weather is very uncertain. Sometimes you can see up to 20 degrees of temperature fluctuation in a day. And also sometimes all four seasons. You always need to carry an umbrella and jacket while going outside. There are only few days when you can go outside without jacket and without umbrella. During the winter, the things can get worst. As it gets outside dark at 4 pm and the temperature drops in the minus degrees. Many foreigners or especially Indians visit their home country during the winter season. In Germany, you pay up to 46% of tax, which is quite a lot in comparison with India. Maximum tax in India is up to 30%. Also, for each purchase like petrol, grocery and everything, you have to pay 19% tax. However, the 46% tax includes the government facilities such as retirement, pension, healthcare, free education, and so on but still it's too much you can't bring your parents for more than 90 days in some cases it is not possible to keep your parents on their own for a long time also you start feeling homesick especially during the winters and you can't bring your parents for more than 90 days here and it is also not realistic to bring your parents to germany twice a year also when you are new parents your child miss their grandparents and vice versa. High inflation rates Due to the current conflict between Russia and Ukraine, Germany is seeing highest ever inflation in its history. The fuel prices were like 2.5 euros. In rupees, it's almost 208 rupees. Food inflation was also at the highest peak. And if you want to buy a house in Germany, it is way too expensive because of real estate bubble. These are also one of the reasons why foreigners choose to leave the Germany. Unable to make local connections. Considering the language barrier, it is hard for someone to make local connections. German people are kind of reserved, but when they know you well, they can become your good friends too. Once they accept you, they also participate in your festivals too. Yes, it can take some time, which can be frustrating. Don't get me wrong, after living 10 years in Germany, I feel Germany is still a wonderful place to live. The opportunities the country offers to the expats are amazing. I just wanted to show you the other side of the coin. For more topics related to Germany, you make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notified. Thank you for watching the video till the end. See you until next time. Bye bye.